Well, hello, Sam Owens here with another uh, product that uh, I think is going to be very useful uh, around the home or uh, in that shop where you need uh, grommets installed uh, into tarps or any type of material uh, that you want to hook it up to something with like bungee cords or what have you. However, uh, grommets can be of use. Uh, this tool uh, is going to definitely do it. It's sturdy, well built. Uh, it uh, is hand operated and uh, we're going to see how uh, you uh, put the handle together. That's the only assembly you have to do along with a cushion grip. See just how to slide this thing on. At first glance, it, it seems like it's very difficult, but you got to work it a little bit. Let me show you this. What you do is put it here and you grab one side and then you pull and then you pull the other side. Then you stick your finger in here and you kind of assist it by pulling down on that side and back and forth like this. And it gives it that stretch that you need and you can get this on. But this is the only way I've found to easily get it on. Putting the finger in there and pulling it, pushing. Uh, the instructions do not guide you to this. Okay, there. What you do is uh, you put this right up here, slide this bolt right through the hole, and you just gotta wiggle it around till you get to put this little guy on the other end. And I don't know if you need to really lock it down tight. I'm just going to put it on like that. And then there's the action. This is what you get. Uh, a nice complement of uh, half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch grommets. And there's two halves to the grommet. Uh, there's the base right here. And then there's a washer like that goes the material goes over it and then I'll uh, explain this uh, as we do the, um, the demonstration. But there's one for each size. These are the dies. And uh, let's uh, introduce uh, one other item that does not come with uh, this set is a hole punching die. Now, uh, this die, these dies will punch uh, holes in material if it's possible to do that. But they made a special uh, die, and this is it for each grommet, that its sole uh, job is to punch holes in material. So I'm going to demonstrate that, and also using the tool cutting capacity of the dies themselves. One of the things that you need to do is mount this. Uh, there are three holes for mounting. and uh, Either mount it on a, a workbench or table or something or use a, uh, a C-clamp. It's a two by four, three screws uh, a good ways into it and a C-clamp over here to mount it to my workbench top. Now, if I wouldn't normally mount it like this if I were going to use it a lot. I would uh, go ahead and screw it right to the top. I'd find a place on here. But for the demonstration, this is going to work. And it makes it where I can really put some leverage to it and uh, cut holes and uh, mount the, uh, uh, the grommets. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, using the uh, hole punch die right here. And uh, we're going to punch some holes. And I screw this into the top. Okay, and it mounts down in there just perfect. Okay, I'm going to use the piece that I was uh, working with. This is a shower curtain material, which would be like uh, canvas or what have you. And uh, I can even double this and uh, actually show you it'll go through twice uh, or even three times. But what I need to do is you need to put some pressure on this because it's the pressure that's going to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and, and just do one hole first right there and I push down and you're gonna listen you're gonna hear a clunk or a, a, a cutting a sound that's cutting
cut it all the way around. Look at there, fine hole. Now we're going to double it. And listen. So you do have to put not uh, an over amount. And what happens is the, it goes through there, but it just falls out the hole. When they fill up, you can just push it out. I'm going to uh, show you how using the half inch uh, grommet die, how it will accomplish the same job. Taking this out. And now we're going to put this in. Uh, this is spring loaded. And it's this area right here that's going to actually cut it. And uh, this grommet fits over like that. So really, uh, the cutting or the part here that mates with it is very much like the end is cone shape. So it does the same thing. And it cuts against that if you don't, if you have the material over there. So we're going to put that in there and you put this up in the mating unit. Good and tight. And now we're going to get our material and I will put this in here. And now again, you have to push and listen for the sound. And right there, I can do another one. So you could do a bunch of holes if you wanted. So it will do it, uh, but it wouldn't really, I don't know, it doesn't talk about it was designed to do that, but it will do it. And uh, so there you have two options, okay? And it'll do a fine job. Now we're going to show uh, using this uh, to mount grommets in like this. This would be very similar to a tarp. It's got a reinforced area. What it is is two layers and there's some fibers in there, which a uh, tarp has the same thing. Now, what we want to do is mark this ahead of time of playing where you want the uh, grommets. And I'm just going to eyeball it, and I'm going to say I want more grommets, so I'm going to put one right here, right here. And I'm just estimating, if you wanted it accurately, you'd need to measure across there and actually get it. Okay, let's do this now. Put this in here, and let's see if this will cut it. And I'm going to push down. And there you go. Dice hole. And I'm going to do this one. And the sound tells you that it's doing it. Okay. There we go. Three holes. Now we're going to uh, install the grommets. And we're going to use the half inch that's designed for this uh, die. And this goes over there. And then we would put this in here like this. And I'll do it like this. And there is a top and bottom. So you, when you use this, this is actually the finished side of the grommet. So if you're going to do you know tarps have an inside and outside right here this would be the outside see the factory grommets that's the unfinished side this is the one you want to show so I want to flip this over and have the this coming up underneath here like that and then I'll have the nice size out now this is important this uh, washer uh, part of the grommet it has a rounded edge and a dished out edge you want the rounded edge up like that and then you push down with a firm action and there's your finished grommet
Okay, I've got them lined up right there. I've got the uh, the side, the finish side um, up. So I got to put one of these on. Then I put my hole. This is the one I just. Oh, this is the one I put on. And then I put one of these, the curved side up. And then I press down firmly and then we do the next one and look you can if you develop a procedure just run through and really hammer these out okay there's our three there there and there okay folks uh, I think you see that uh, this thing will perform and uh, it'll last you a long time. It's really built well. And uh, so get out there and put some grommets in. <laughs> okay, I wanna thank you very much for watching my video.